Um, so as as it got close, really right when it, it went um, got done, um, Craig had a conversation with Lowe uh, just to make sure sure Lowe uh, was informed. Um, you know, to, to be honest, this this was reported as done before it was actually done. Um, you know, late one night it, it started being reported as a completed deal, and it was not at that point. Um, so at that point, candidly, we had not informed players because we didn't have a deal, and frankly, we had some terms we were still working through. So, um, but once once it got out, um, um, certainly we, we began talking to our players immediately so that everyone understood what was going on. You know, Tom, we we always care about depth, regardless of um, the circumstances. You know, if, if we look at three outfield positions, um, conservatively, there are 2,100 plate appearances uh, to go through three outfield positions. That's a lot of playing time. That's a lot of plate appearances. Um, we want as good of players as possible to consume all of those. And so now to, to hopefully be able to um, have four really, really good players um, consuming those 2,100 plate appearances, that, that puts us in a really good spot. Um, we understand that that's going to take low a little bit of time to get going here. Um, that, that doesn't surprise us. It's, it's tough coming back from um, nearly a year away from, from the team. He's been slowed a little bit um, with his legs. That also doesn't really surprise us. Um, and so adding, adding someone of, of this caliber to our mix there uh, maybe takes a little bit of pressure off him and then and then also helps protect us against the inevitable um, that, that we're going to see over the course of the year. You know, I, I the, the, the truth is we, we don't know whether this is a one year um, a, a, a one year commitment or a two year commitment. And that's um, that's part of the structure of the deal is that it's, it's in the player's hands. Um, what we do know is we're very happy to have him here for this year. Uh, I think he'll see how the year goes, see what the environment looks like heading into um, next off season. Um, there's probably some uncertainty heading into next off season as well. So we're 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 going to take it literally year by year. Um, it's not something I'm going to worry about this year. I don't think Jackie's going to worry about it this year. We'll um, we'll see where things are at the end of the year, and we'll go from there. It's like I think um, with our coaching staff and starting with Craig, we've done a nice job here of, of building some really good cultural environments in our clubhouse throughout our time here. Um, and we've done it with players who have a variety of different personalities. Um, with that said, you're right. Both of these guys come with tremendous reputations um, in terms of how they carry themselves as professionals and, and how they contribute to their communities and, and care about the people around them. So. We are very confident that Jackie is going to represent our organization well, that our fans are going to like him, um, and that they're going to respond to him. Yeah, I, I think it's a balanced group. Um, I definitely think it's a balanced group. that It gives us some flexibility when everyone's healthy um, to make out the line card in a variety of different ways. And uh, uh, Craig enjoys that flexibility. Um, I also know that not, not everyone's going to be healthy um, and, and going at all cylinders over the course of the year. So um, what appears really balanced and flexible on paper, uh, very quickly as you get into the regular season, um, uh, depending on what happens, can become less flexible and, and less balanced. And we understand that. But uh, we try to provide options. We try to um, have balance and versatility on our roster. Um, and, and then hopefully uh, it plays out as we anticipate. No, we're not disappointed at all. Lorenzo did his work in the offseason. Um, he had some wisdom teeth removed right before he got to camp, which shut him down for a week to 10 days. So we, we knew he was going to um, be a little slower to start getting his legs back under him. Um, look, this is, this, this, is, this is part of what can be expected when you have a player who relies a great deal on his lower body, um, who, who wasn't in a competitive environment for a long time. Um, and so we knew we needed the spring uh, and the entirety of the spring to get him going. Um, unfortunately, we've lost a chunk of that at this point. And so we'll see how the next couple of weeks go. Um, 
you know, we're on the same page. I know Lo wants to be out there. I know it's raring to go. Um, we also have to be smart about this. We don't want to rush things. The, the goal here is to um, keep Lo healthy and productive for 162 games and not put an artificial deadline on anything. I think we'll, it won't surprise uh, those of you that are regularly around our team um, that we, we remain in contact with um, a number of players throughout the offseason. Um, we, we are constantly talking about various free agents, constantly exploring um, different trade avenues. So uh, the timeline of this is, is it's a player we've been exploring and talking to for some time. Um, and the, the motivation is we think he makes us better. And, and just adding additional really quality players to our team is something we've tried to do here for, for many years. And, and adding someone of Jackie's caliber, uh, both in terms of his play on the field, his impact in the clubhouse, and his impact in the community, something we're excited about. Um, as, as the offseason progressed and ultimately got into spring training, th this is something that made sense for both sides. We were able to structure it in a way that made sense for both sides. Um, and, and we're really happy he's here today on the field. I think that's something that Craig's really good at, and um, he's very good at mapping out rest throughout the course of the season. That's probably going to be true with all of our players, and, and now in terms of how we handle it with the outfielders, we, we have just a, another really quality outfielder to, to help balance the load. So whether it's um, you know, Lowe and Jackie or, or Yelich um, or Avi, um, all of these guys are now going to be able to, to get the, the days off when they need them in order to keep them fresh for, for a full 162. And I think we do have to remind all of ourselves that, that this is a full 162 this year, and that's what we're planning for. We're planning for the marathon. Um, and, and guys get dinged and hurt, and a lot of guys play through it. And to be able to, to give a guy a day off when he needs it um, without really compromising what we have on the field is a real luxury for us right now. I don't think it was it was sort of turning on a dime like that. Um, you know, as, as has been reported publicly, uh, in some cases, we, we have pursued significant offensive additions to the team. Some, some of them have been publicly reported. Some of them have not. Um, and, and so we, we have tried, um, throughout the offseason really to make our team better. Um, and ultimately the deals that, that made sense for us, um, and, and the deals that made sense on the player side were for players who provide a lot of, um, their value through, through the defensive and run production side of the ball. So I don't know that we ever turned on a dime wheel and, and said, you know, we're going to kind of focus primarily or exclusively on defense. Um, it was more a recognition that. Uh, defense matters and, and run prevention matters and, and it's all part of um it's all part of the same equation of, of trying to score one more run than the other guy and however we get there um and however we can get there most often is, is what we're concerned with a, a little bit of both um we weren't a good enough defensive team last year part of that uh part of that improvement needed to come through um uh, some personnel changes and, and part of it needs to come from players who were here last year ha having better years um having better defensive years so uh and then and then part of how the offseason unfolded just the, the best opportunities for us to improve our team um largely revolves around defensive oriented players and, and the other thing i'd say is is you know with both colton and jackie yes the, these are these are very talented defensive players um, they also provide some nice lineup balance, uh, being able to swing it from the from the left side. And so um, we do look at these guys as as two way contributors. Uh, they will impact our team unquestionably on the defensive side of the ball. Our pitching staff is going to enjoy having them out there. But but there's also an offensive component to this that we think is helpful. 